Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and welcome to my 2018 tutorial on using Google Drive. In this video, I'll show you everything you need to know to get up and running with Google Drive. To access Google Drive, you can go to google.com forward slash drive and then click on go to Google Drive. You could also go to drive.google.com if you wanted to. You need to log in with a Google account or create a new one. So I have one that I'm going to use for this video. So I'm just going to log into that account. And once you get logged into Google Drive, this is what it's going to look like. So what I'm going to do is we're actually just going to jump right in and start creating a few documents. Uh, and then as we create documents, we'll start to see how Google Drive works and how we can organize our files. I do want to mention that you get 15 gigabytes of free storage with Google Drive. So that includes everything, uh, your email, any photos you upload, any documents you have, any backups of Android devices that you store on Google Drive. Uh, that's all included in the 15 gigabytes. So just be aware of that. And then to get started and just start creating documents, all we have to do is go up here to the new button on the top left corner and you'll notice that we have a number of different options we could create a folder we could upload files if we wanted to or we could create a Google Doc a Google Sheet or a Google Slide additionally we could also create a Google form drawing map or site so Docs are like your Word documents sheets are like Excel slides are like PowerPoint um, and then you've got your additional apps as well so to get started let's just go ahead jump right in and create a Google Doc like a Word document so when I click on it, you'll notice that it opens up in a new tab, so we still have access to our drive in the tab that we just left, and we have a blank document on our screen. Additionally, just to show you, we could have created a document um, from a template. There are some templates here in Google Drive, uh, but generally speaking, you're probably going to use a lot of blank documents, so let's get started with that. The first thing that we want to do when we create a new document is we want to title our document. Google Drive saves your documents automatically as you work. So if you don't give your document a title when you start working, you might get confused later on in regards to which document is which. So let's go ahead and give our document a title. We'll just call it Test Document. And just to show you, it says right here it's saving. Now it says it's saved. And if we click back into Google Drive, we can see our document listed here. But let's go back to the document and let's just take a look at what we can do in here. So first of all, you'll notice that you have all your normal formatting tools up here at the top. And it looks pretty similar to Microsoft Word or Apple Pages. Let's just put in some text here. All right, so we've got our text. Um, you could change your font up here. You can use different uh, headings and uh, paragraphs for your document. Uh, font size, bold italics, underline, font color. Um, you can insert links, you can deal with all your alignments, so we could center align this, you know, we could make it bold, change it to red, fix the H, uh, just like a normal document. But let me show you some of the cool features that we can utilize here in Google Drive. First of all, there's commenting that's similar to uh, Microsoft Word, so if I highlight a part of this document, I can then click on this comment bubble, I could also click up here, and then I can add a comment saying, are you sure about this? And now if there are any collaborators with me in this document, anybody that this document is shared with, uh, they will receive a notification that I've commented in the document. They can come in, they could resolve my comment, or they could click on my comment and reply to it. Um, so that's how we can communicate about a document. And we can collaborate in real time here in Google Drive as well. So if there was somebody else working in this document and they were typing, I would actually see them type uh, as they do it. Uh, it's real-time collaboration, so you don't have to worry about uh, who has the latest version of a document. You're all working on the latest version. And, and that brings me to my next point, another feature here in Google Drive, and that is the revision history feature. So let's take a look at that. If we go over here to File, we can hover over this section called Version History, and we can take a look at the version history. So let's click on See Version History. Um, and we could name our versions as telling us if we wanted to. But you'll notice that right now I'm looking at two different versions. So we have one version of this document where there was basically nothing inside of it. And then another version where we've got kind of what we finalized with. But you'll notice that in this second version, I can drop it down and there are some more detailed versions. So you can see we have the version where we hadn't centered our text, we hadn't fixed the H or anything like that. And then we also have our version where we did make those changes. So at any point in time, I could click on another version, uh, and then up here at the left, I could click on Restore This Version. You'll also notice that below each of these versions, my name is listed and there's a color next to my name. That's the color that's associated with me as a user here in Google Drive, but if I was collaborating with another user and they had made changes, uh, whoever made the changes, their name would be listed, and then the changes that they made, uh, you would see this changes in green because I made that change. Um, so 
not only can we restore older versions of a document with revision history and version history, but we can actually see which changes each user made. So if there were some mistakes made in a document, we could be able to hold those people accountable for that. So that's one of my favorite features of Google Drive. But let's go ahead and close out of this for now. And let's go ahead and go back to Google Drive. So you'll notice that we have our document that we created, but let's quickly create uh, a sheet document as well, which would be equivalent to an Excel document. So I'm going to go new Google Sheet. Now I'm not going to go into detail about how uh, spreadsheets work, but I am just going to show you how you can get started in here and how you can transfer your knowledge from Excel over here to Google Sheets. So we'll just call this test sheet because we want to give it a name. And I'll just show you real quick. Let's see, we have um, a couple sets of data here, one in five. Uh, then we could do a formula just like we would in Excel, and we could say equals the sum, open parentheses, select these two cells and hit enter. You'll notice that we now have the sum. We can change these numbers and our sum changes as well. You can create additional sheets. And then it has all of the other uh, features that I mentioned for the regular Google Doc, the Word version of Google Doc. I just also want to mention that up here you have your um, all your different formats, number formats, so you can do currencies and dates and times and all that sort of thing. Uh, if we X this out, you'll notice that our sheet has been automatically saved, so it's now listed here in Google Drive. So now that we have a couple documents created, let's go ahead and talk about document organization here in Google Drive. When we create documents, they're automatically added to this section known as My Drive. Now inside of My Drive, we can create folders. So I could click on New Folder, and I could just call this First Folder, and you'll notice that we now have a folder listed here in Drive. And to kind of look at things in a little bit of a different way. I'm going to change my view because I don't use this default view. Uh, I actually use a list view. So I'm going to go up here uh, to the right hand corner and I'm going to click on list view. And I just like this view a lot better. It's kind of organizes things a little bit better for me and then I can see more information on each line. So you can see we now have our folder and our two documents. So I could just click and drag these documents into the folder if I wanted to. And I can go over here to the left look under my drive and we'll see there's our folder so we can quickly access it. So that's how you can uh, organize your documents within the my drive section here. If another user shares a document with you, it's not going to be in the my drive section initially, it's going to be in the shared with me section. Uh, and then you'll notice that Google says that you can drag anything shared with you to the my drive section for easy access. This is basically done so that uh, you can't have people spam share documents with you and they all of a sudden just show up in your drive and you know, disorganize everything you've got going on. They're going to go to shared with me first, and then if you want to accept that document, then you can bring it into my drive um, on your own. Notice there are a few other sections over here. Uh, in the computers section, you could sync Google Drive with some folders on your computer. In the recent section, you'll see all the documents, and they'll be listed in order of the ones that have been changed most recently. I actually use the recent section here in Google Drive a lot. That's one of the main places that I start. Um, if you use Google Drive to store your photos, they would be here starred are any documents that you give a star to. So I could just uh, right click on a document and then I could click on the add a star button and it would add a little star next to it. And when I click on starred, it would show up in this section as well. And of course, trash are where your documents go when you delete them. So now that we've taken a look at Google Drive and we've created a few documents, let's talk about sharing documents here in Google Drive. So I have this test sheet that I created and I wanna share it with somebody. I have a couple of different options. First of all, I could double click, open this document up and then go to the right hand corner. So this is how you can share documents from within a document. And I can click on share. You'll notice when I click on share, this box pops up and I have a few different options here. First of all, uh, I need to enter the email address of the person that I'd like to share it with. So I'll just go ahead and enter webmaster at ansonalex.com. And then to the right of the email address, I need to select the permissions for that user. So I can give that user edit permissions, which means they can make changes to the document, they can share the document, pretty much do anything with it. I can just give them comment permissions so they would be able to comment inside the document, but they wouldn't be able to actually make changes to it. Or I could just give them view permissions and they wouldn't be able to make changes or comment. So that's up to you. You can choose the permissions that best fit. You could also add a little note as well so the user will see that when they get an email notification letting them know that you've shared the document with them. And then if you want to look at some more options available to you, you can click on the advanced link down here. And the advanced link is really what you want to take a look at, maybe not when you're initially sharing a document, but after you've already shared a document and you need to change some of the visibility settings within that document. So. If there were any other users that this document had already been shared with, they would be listed here and I could click change to the right of their name to change the permissions for that particular user. 
Notice that I can also change the default visibility. Up here where it says private, I could click on change and I could actually make this a public document so that anybody could look at it. So obviously you're not going to want to do that with most of your documents, but if there is a document that you're just putting out there for informational purposes and you want everybody to be able to see it, you could make it public, then you could send the link to people and anybody would be able to access it without you having to share it with them individually. I'm going to turn that off for now. They'll leave it off, so I'll hit cancel. And notice that after clicking on advanced, we could also prevent editors from changing access. So we can basically prevent them from sharing documents, but still allow them to edit them. Um, and then whenever we're ready, we can just click the send button. So you'll notice that uh, Anson Alexander, my other email address is now added to this list. I could change the permissions, as I mentioned. I can even switch ownership. If I'm going to delete my account, I would want to change ownership of any documents uh, that I don't want to lose. So I'm going to go ahead and click done for now. Uh, alternatively to share a document, we could go from back here in Google Drive. We can just right click on a document and click on share and you'll see the same dialog. We can click on advanced and we get the advanced sharing options. And I also want to mention that you can download documents. So if I right click on this document here, I could just click on download and it would download it as an Excel document. If you clicked download on a Google Doc, it would download it as a Word document. Now I want to mention that when you share a document here in Google Drive, you're sharing it in Drive format, but there may be times when you want to share a document in Excel format or Word format for somebody that doesn't use Google Drive. So to do that, what you want to do is you want to open up a document. So we have our test sheet document here, and then we're going to click on File, and we're going to click on Email as Attachment. I get this different box that pops up. I can choose the format of the file that I'd like to send, so I could send it as a PDF or an Excel file. Then I enter the email address of the person that I'd like to send it to, subject, message, and then I can click send. So that's how you can send a document to somebody and convert it before it reaches their inbox so that it's ready to be opened up in the application that they use. I also want to mention, don't forget about search up here at the top. In my early days of Google Drive, I created a very complex web of folders that I used to use, but the more and more I use Drive, I realize that I don't even use my folders. When I go to look for a document, I usually give them descriptive names, so when I go to look for a document, I'll just use the search. Google, you know, that's what they're known for, search. It's very powerful here in Drive as well, so don't forget about using that feature as well. And then if you want to take a look at and modify some of your Google Drive settings, you can move over here to the right corner and click on the gear icon and then click on settings. This is where you could also uh, download the Google Drive local desktop application for your PC or Mac computer. But I hope you found this video helpful. This should be pretty much everything that you need to know to get up and running with Google Drive, sharing documents, creating folders, organizing everything. If you did find the video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.